All right, four U.S. companies, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Verizon. Combined, they've got $340 billion in cash. Now, that's money that could come back here to help the U.S. economy if President Obama motivates those companies to bring it back home. My take on that is next. Just four, count them, just four American companies hold $340 billion in cash. This gives President Obama an extraordinary opportunity. Here's my take. First, the staggering numbers, and they are staggering. Apple's got 146 billion, Microsoft 80 billion, Google 56 billion, Verizon 54 billion dollars. That's all cash. Readily available, spendable, investable money. Here's the president's opportunity. Encourage these companies to bring the money home and put it to work building America's economy. They're not bringing it home now, because if they do, they will pay the highest tax rate in the developed world, 35%. Cut that rate or give a tax holiday, and a big chunk of that money would flow back here and work its magic for us in America. That's the opportunity. Cut corporate tax rates to bring investment and jobs back home. Will he do it? Odds are he won't. The president shows no sign of knowing how to motivate the private sector. He's a government-by-command kind of guy. And there's his worldview to consider as well. He doesn't think it's Apple's money or Google's money. He thinks it's our money, and we are entitled to it. Plus, he just hates any kind of tax cut. But there are a couple of carrots dangling in front of this reluctant president. Number one, his economic policies have hardly thrilled voters. So what's to lose by bringing hundreds of billions back home? Number two, if he puts out the welcome mat, he may bring in a lot more than a few hundred billion. The total cash hoard of global companies stands at $2.8 trillion. Even a small piece of that would be great for America. I suspect a decision on corporate tax rates is coming soon. We live in hope for real tax reform, don't we?